Hello and welcome. I think this video will be helpful for someone who are thinking to upgrade their Anycubic Cost Aligner Plus from stop triggerilla 8 bit board to something 32 bit. I've been upgrade I've been upgraded mine to big grid touch SKR V 1.3 I guess and if you think there will be any difference in print quality there won't be I show you three samples my girlfriend absolutely in love with owls so she asked me to print several of them and it, it was happening during my upgrade so first one was printed on completely stock any cubic cost liner plus AB board triggerilla A4988 stroke stepper drivers. The second one was my first upgrade. I bought TMC2208 and I like it. It worth its money. The printer become super quiet. It's actually a little unbelievable for me because I'm so used to hear a printing. So sometimes I just ran to the printer because I thought there is some kind of terminal protection happen or something. It, it's so printing because this specific noise, you know. A49AA makes so it's completely quiet printing during you uh, when you're using TMC2208. It completely worth its money and pr surface quality becomes smoother, a little but smoother. It's not that really noticeable. Don't believe them. There is no real big difference. I don't know. Might be. Might be. I don't know how to configure it all the thing properly. But we've been spending days and months to learn all about this. About Cura settings, about Marlin settings, about everything. And that's my best prints. And the very last one is the all which was printed on the Askier 1.3, 32-bit. And it, when here we have a minor difference between printing quality, surface quality, it's smoother. I can show you that. Uh, lights. Here we go. It's smoother. You see, on top of this all, it's it's not focusing. Okay, it's a little smoother on top, it's a little rougher, but it's not that big difference. But between these two, you won't see any difference. So, my suggestions, if you never configured Marlin before, and you don't want to spend days to dive in to Marlin to learn all settings in Marlin and configure them properly because you you will probably not be satisfied with profiles in internet sometimes they work odd sometimes you have different drivers stepper drivers as for me I bought three stepper driver and I leave A4988 to extruder so I needed to configure all that myself if you don't want to spend time there is no big difference with Thames Thames A2208 you just pull out A4988 and clip back 
GMC 2208. Easy as is. You don't need to do anything. Probably you won't need even invert your directions of a step of motors in the firmware. If you need to do so, it's not that big deal. It's not a configure completely new Marlin 2.0 and between these Marlins, I mean 2.0, 2.004, there is a big difference. Some function doesn't work. So don't be, don't make a pain in your ass because it might be a pain in your ass to swap. All this printer is on 80 millimeter per second and outer walls 30 millimeter per second. And as you see, the real difference is only between A4988 and TMC2208. In between boards, there is no, no difference at all. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry for my English, because English is my second language. Have a nice day. And I hope I help someone to make their decisions whether or not to buy SKR 1.3 when the results will be the same, absolutely same.